Stocks versus real estate. What's been a better investment over the past 50 years? You can never trust a Wall Streeter to give you the real deal scoop about real estate. I'm a disinterested third party. I'm an investment advisor on one hand, but I also invest in real estate myself. And today it's 431,000. Average annual return of 5.24%. But he's calculating that incorrectly because what he's not taking into consideration is you're not buying the home outright in cash. You maybe put down a 20% down payment, so you only have a fractional amount of your investment into that house. And when you use leverage to buy, that's going to exponentially multiply your returns. In the S&P 500 in 1973, that my friend is a 10.59% annual return. But the big difference is that real estate kicks off cash flow. If you wanted your stock market investments to provide cash flow in the form of its dividend, that actually is going to bring your 10.5% down to a much less impressive 7.2%. The tax rate you're paying on rental income is your ordinary income rate. That's extremely misleading as well because after expenses and especially after depreciation, many times you're paying nothing or close to nothing in income tax. As with stocks, if you own them for more than a year, your tax rate is 15 or 20% for high income earners. Which is true. But savvy real estate investors, if they want to take cash out of their property, instead of selling it and paying tax on the gain, we're using leverage to do a cash out refinance, taking advantage of the tax code because debt is completely tax free. And then I've got to call him out on his fear tactics because you have to take a massive loan from the bank and tries to scare you about debt. No toilets, no management companies, etc. So what's a better investment? You tell me. And who in the world would want to wake up in the middle of the night and fix toilets? So this is your typical Wall Streeter stock market type person where they're going to give you a bunch of misinformation and try to scare you to not investing in rental real estate because they want you to put all of your money with them. 